Hello teachers, I'd like to show you Hour of Code, which is one of my very favorite places to go on the internet. With Hour of Code, coding is easy and fun. The students can get started very quickly, even if they don't know anything about coding. You don't have to know anything about coding either. The lessons are self-paced and entertaining. Look how happy these students and teachers are. Pictures don't lie. As you can see, there are activities for children as young as four years old, all the way through high school and beyond. The first exercises are easy, but each level gets more and more tricky. Many tasks have hints, and students are eventually challenged to solve very complex problems by using fewer and fewer lines of code. But students aren't just learning how to code. They're also learning how to solve complex problems that require tinkering and thinking outside the box exactly the sort of thinking we want to encourage our students to use in real life. Hour of Code is especially important for our population. There just aren't enough computer programmers in the adult world, and the need is especially serious here in California. Computer science is a rapidly growing career field, and coding is a practical skill that is already becoming an important part of everyday life. Hour of Code is also about equity. Today, only 20% of computer science students are female. But since everyone can participate in Hour of Code, all students can be introduced to coding at the same time in a supportive environment. You can encourage your students to see engineering and computer science as viable career paths. And that's a good thing because anyone can code. So how do you get started? Well, one simple way is to go to the Hour of Code website and click Try It. You can see there are a lot of coding activities, so take a few minutes to find the one that is a good fit for your class. Click on your grade level, and then select from some of the filters on the left. Fortunately, all of our students have Chromebooks, so you can check on computers under Classroom Technology. Your students can learn a lot from a one-hour activity, but they can learn even more from a one-hour activity that has some follow-on. We highly recommend clicking the blocks option, especially for elementary students or for beginners, since students don't have to type their uh, code from scratch. If your students are brand new to coding, one place you might start is the Minecraft Hour of Code. Minecraft has three great Hour of Code activities, including one that's brand new for this year called Hero's Journey. Let's look at that one. The story begins with a three-minute video, Thank you for coming with which tells a story. We can skip that video for now. And the student then chooses one of the characters, either Steve or Alex. These are, of course, the famous Minecraft characters. I'm going to choose Alex. And in our first coding problem, we see Alex is trapped and needs to get the, to this treasure chest. The solution is very simple. All the student has to do is drag the block of code into the win run workspace and click run. Then use the arrow keys to move Alex to find the treasure. If the students get stuck, there are hints. And as each puzzle is completed, another puzzle loads. This is very easy for students to work with independently at their own pace, and it's also highly engaging. Another option is Google's new Create Your Own Google Logo activity. This is also new for 2017 and can be done by students at a variety of grade levels. There is a teacher notes page that tells you how you can begin the activity with your students. And it even includes some ready-made certificates that you can give your students when they complete, some informational flyers and posters that you can decorate your classroom with, sticker badges, etc. Everything you need is right here. In the activity, students have tutorial videos that Many doodles talk them through each step of the way. And what they'll basically do is use scratch-based coding to make their own animated Google Doodle. Even though the programming can be very intense, each step is clearly explained, and there's plenty of scaffolding that make it doable even for students as young as second grade. Finally, let's talk about scheduling. We know teachers are very busy, especially this year, and Computer Science Education Week is December 4th through 10th, which is coming up pretty fast. 
The good news is that you don't have to schedule your coding lesson during this week. Hour of Code and all of its lessons are available 24-7, 365 days a year, so there's never a bad time to start teaching your students how to code. They can do it right at their own desks in your classroom. Go ahead and give it a try. Your students will thank you for it. Let your ed tech specialists know if you have any questions. We'll be glad to help you. Thanks for watching and happy coding.